All right, what's going on YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And this one is going to be two parts. It's going to be uh, stuff I've already recorded and uh, already made a video, for, a video for that I deleted. And then another part of it is going to be uh, a couple cool things I picked up in this shop in the last week. So I uh, recently got a new iPhone and I had like a ton of extra pictures on there taking up a bunch of space on my old one. And as I was making room for my uh, like basically doing a backup and getting a new phone, I deleted pic uh, videos I had not already uploaded. So I'm going to start at the process now of every time I record a video, because sometimes I record these, you know, two or three days in advance. Um, I'm going to upload them right away because I had the problem of deleting them before uploading them um, without realizing it. So yes, I know you can go into your iPhone and do recently deleted, but that stuff stays on there. So in order to make the actual space, I as soon as I delete them, I go into recently delete it and then delete all of them. Um, so everything just goes right off my phone. So there was no way of recovering any of the videos. So um, picked up some cool stuff and this will basically be the last part of the uh, like flip lots video that I'm I'm going to be working on kind of showing you guys like what I do when I uh, buy lots, how I find them, what I do to evaluate them beforehand, um, my thought process on like when I decide to auction stuff versus buy it nows, um, that kind of thing. Um, Cause I think some of these are actually pretty, uh, pretty good deals here. So I'm going to go through those. And then again, Got some stuff from the shop this week, and there's some cards under here from the shop. So first thing is, is we'll do this. This was a Panini Rewards Mail Day. I know these weren't super expensive. I don't remember the exact price, uh, but this is two of 99, and then these are both out of 49, one and three of 49. Um, probably one of the best Browns ever, especially over the last 20 years. Uh, Joe Thomas, he definitely sells well locally, so... Uh, these will probably end up in my shop just because uh, he's so popular. So these will probably end up there, but I wanted to share these. I probably could have bought more of these because I think the price per point versus what these will sell for is a pretty good value. But um, you never know when Panini's going to drop something really cool on there. So I figured I might as well just save some and just pick up a couple. So uh, a few Joe Thomas autos right there. Uh, next was this lot. And when I recorded this at the time... Um, I'll, I'll show you when I get there, but there's a, there's a card in here that I was like, I think I'll sell for like $13.99 or $14.99 and come to find out one card in this entire deal will pay for the entire lot. So, uh, I think the whole lot here was, I think there's like 20 some cards. The whole lot was like $31 shipped. Um, it was just an eBay lot. It wasn't listed very well, but made an offer and got it. It was like 31 bucks. So I'll just flip through these, uh, Homer Higdon. Baker, Blair, Anthony Johnson, Travion, Darwin Thompson, that's actually decent, Foster Moreau, who's actually scored a couple times, Rodney Anderson, Montez Sweat, I think is a first rounder, Taylor Rapp, Taylor Rapp, Alex Barnes, Alex Barnes, and Travion, so those obviously need sleeves, so I'll probably, what I'll, I think one of the lots I'm going to make is a Seahawks lot, the Montez Sweat will sell for a couple bucks, the Darwin Thompson will sell for a couple bucks, and then the rest of them are going to be like $3.99 or $2.99 auctions, they're not anything super crazy same thing here with this uh Raquel Armstrad nothing super crazy um Devin White it's probably a couple of bucks probably $5.99 so I think right there that will make up most of my money uh but I originally thought that this card was uh gonna be like a $13.99 sale but come to find out I think the last two auctions did over $45 um when I bought the lot the only one ever listed at the time was this one in the lot there had not been any listed so I just, I, th I don't know what I was looking up, but I mean, this stuff doesn't sell that great for on average. So I figured this is probably $9.99 plus shipping. So I said $13.94 shipped. So when I added up everything in the lot uh, that I got, I figured I'd probably get like 60 bucks after fees. So I was going to pay like up to like 38 bucks. And I think I paid like $31. Um, so I was like, oh, I feel good about that. And then again, I paid 31 and I think this card right here will pay for every single thing. So Ended up working out better than expected, and I'll kind of mention that in this lot because this lot kind of had the opposite effect where some cards in here actually went down instead of up, um, and that happens when you buy lots because, you know, sometimes it takes a week to get them, and then it takes me, you know, 
a couple days to show them off in a video, and then by the time I actually get around to listing them, you know, a lot can happen in two, three weeks in football. Um, so I will talk about that there. So not a bad, uh, not a bad little lot. And then this lot I bought on eBay, it was 208 shipped for everything. Now there are a couple cards in this lot that at the time were uh, much better and had more potential than they do now, and I'll point those out. Um, I'm not, I'm not super confident I'll do amazing on this lot. I would probably guess I'll make 25 to 30 percent, so roughly 50 to what's 20, 50 to 65 bucks, 50 to 60 bucks. What's 30 percent of two? What's that? 10, 20, 60 bucks. Yeah, so 50 to 60 bucks. Um, and I don't think that, I mean, that's not, that's certainly great. I'm, I'm definitely okay with making 50 or $60 on a $200 purchase. Um, you know, you can do a lot with 60 bucks. So, um, so yeah, and again, that's what I'll talk about in the video is like, there are lots I bought. I mean, that lots right over there is $31 that I bought that I just showed you, right? I make if I make $30 on it, I mean, that's $30 I had before. So I make 30 bucks on that. And I make 60 bucks on that. I made $90 on $231. So now I have three, you know, 320 to work with. Then you, you know, take this lot and I, you know, take 50 on this and turn it into, you know, 80. So then I made 30 there. So then on three lots, I made $120. We can buy a decent sized lot with $120. That's, and that's what I'm trying to get at with this is not every lot has to be $10,000 where, you know, you buy it and you make $5,000. You know, you can get, you know, you can build up and make, decent amount of money by taking lots that are 30, 50, 60, 100, 200, 300 dollars, putting them all together and making like good money. It's totally possible. So that's just what I'm trying to show people is that you don't need a million dollar budget to, to make money in cards. So again, this whole lot right here, everything was 208. So um, I'll just show you guys some stuff. Again, a lot of this stuff in here is not going to sell for a whole lot. I realize that uh, like this, this is one dude I Probably one of my biggest busts ever. I had a lot of money in this guy. All the talent in the world. I saw him dominate at Clemson. Um, just couldn't stay off the weed. Um, it's such a shame. This is a big Steelers rookie insert lot from this year. That Those will go out and shop. Uh, nothing I certainly accounted for in the deal. Uh, Dexter Lawrence, Leap Trinity, Auto Purple. Nothing crazy. Probably $2.99. Uh, Jim... Uh, Jim... I think he spelled Thorpe wrong. I didn't even notice that. Jim Thorpe, isn't it Jim Thorpe? Isn't it T-H-O-R-P-E? At least I think it is. Um, unless I'm the idiot, but um, Andre Baker, Inscription Auto at a 60. Never noticed that. Uh, one off his jersey number, but again, nothing super crazy. Deontay Johnson, I really like this dude's potential. I've said that from the start. If you watched my mail videos in August when, before the season started, I think that guy's going to be good. A couple bucks there. Hassan Reddick. Uh, this will not sell. That's probably a dollar or two dollar bin at my shop. Damien Harris Auto at a fifteen. It's Bama, so this will probably sell for four ninety nine plus shipping. Nothing crazy. Uh, Winovich Auto. He actually sells well. God, my Buckeyes got the dub over that team up north. Um, but I would expect this to do. If I had to guess, eleven ninety nine plus shipping. Um, hard to say. James Washington Score Auto is definitely nothing crazy. I would guess four ninety nine plus shipping. Jesse James is probably a $2.99 auction. Uh, Nick Foles, $2.99, nothing, not going to sell. Josh Allen, rookie, those will go out in my shop. Uh, Noah Fant out of a 75, I believe. Yeah, 75. Uh, it's probably a $2.99 auction, nothing crazy. James Conner, Jersey, one of 101, kind of helps, but nothing crazy. I'd guess $2.99. This is probably one of the few cards in the lot that's actually gone up since I purchased. Uh, this is out of 99. I would guess this is a 699 or 799 plus shipping on eBay. Uh, Jamaris Way at 50. Nothing. Uh, Noah Fan Auto at a 50. You're probably looking at 499 plus shipping. And then a Stafford jersey uh, from Spectra at a 99. You're probably looking at 299 auction. So when I say 299 auction, that means starting bid. They may not get a bid, they may get a bid. Um, but that's typically the cheapest I'm willing to put them up for at auction. If they don't get a bid at $299, I might relist them for $249. And then if that doesn't work and I don't want to relist them, they'll go in my shop in like a dollar bin or something like that. James Williams Contenders. Uh, not going to sell on eBay. Same thing with this probably. Ashawn Robinson, who believes a Bama guy. Uh, not going to sell. Maybe a lot with like some of this Lions stuff. Hawkinson Prism uh, or Refractor and a Hawkinson Gold at a 75 uh, maybe a $2.99 lot, but I'm not sure. 
Uh, there's a couple of Ravens in this in this lot. There's a Lamar out of 149 and a Marquise Brown patch out of 35. Maybe like $7.99 together or $9.99 together plus shipping somewhere in there. Uh, LJ Call Your Red Wave out of 149. Not gonna sell on eBay. Uh, Kyler 249XR uh, Red. You're probably looking at $3.99 auction. Same thing with this Kyler jersey from Gold Standard. 190 out of 199 probably same thing 399 starting bid these will probably end up in that ravens lot you got a silver silver and then a printing plate of amon marshall now the one thing about this is sometimes these guys that don't have a lot of cards like this who aren't in a lot of products they've got one two or three people collecting them um sometimes this kind of stuff can go for more than you expect so this will probably be one i auction at 499 expecting to get Four ninety nine, but wouldn't be surprised if it went for like twenty five dollars because this guy probably doesn't have a lot. So the people that won his cards are probably gonna you know bid against each other. Um, so it's just one of the things about buying unique cards of people that don't have a lot is sometimes their stuff can do well. Uh, Minshew, this is a card that went up and down, up and down. Uh, I said earlier this year I was um, I was surprised they bench fulls. Minshew was playing better, um, so that card probably has a little more value now, but not eBay auction worthy. Uh, Joey Bosa out of eight from Impeccable. This is probably a four ninety nine plus shipping uh, eBay type bid. If I had to guess, uh, nothing super crazy. Cortland Sutton Orange two two forty nine. Not going to sell. Uh, Minchu two forty nine. This might get a bid at two ninety nine. Uh, I would have to check, but probably eBay. Uh, Noah Fant Silver. Uh, you're probably looking at like six ninety nine plus shipping. If I had to guess. But I actually did, I didn't even realize this, but I've got this and I can actually include this with this because this is all Noah fan. So I'll probably pull that off to the side and make a two card lot with there and I'll show those in a second. Uh, this was definitely one card I was more optimistic on when I bought the lot, uh, Trubisky out of 10. Um, he's got so many up and down games. I would imagine if I had to guess, uh, again, I'm trying to be conservative when I give these numbers, but I would guess $49.99 plus shipping with upwards of like $74.99, but I would lean closer to $49.99 if I had to guess uh, out of 10. So not super optimistic on that. Uh, Isabella, purple or uh, purple out of 49. Prism color autos sell well. I don't expect this to be anything crazy. I would guess $9.99 plus shipping if I, if I had to guess. Again, I don't know what these sell for. I, I didn't look them up. Oh, I did look them up at one point and I made a spreadsheet and I'll show you guys this in my video when I uh, make that flip video. Um, so I don't, but that was three, four weeks ago. Deontay Thompson, that'll honestly probably get tossed in. Uh, this was another one of those cards that I bought in the lot that was much higher at the time I bought it. When he was starting, this was probably a $50 card, uh, and it's probably 15 to 20 now. One of 75 Ryan Finley auto, um, green, green scope. I'll probably keep this rather than sell this for 15, 20 bucks, um, I'm not sure that makes a ton of sense because they're probably going to draft a quarterback, but he may end up somewhere else and may have potential. I like Finley. I think Finley's good. Um, just the Bengals are terrible. So, But that is definitely one that has uh, depreciated since I bought it. Uh, Josh Oliver, Ricky Otto out of 10 from Prism. I'd guess $8.99 plus shipping. Rodney Anderson, a couple bucks. Uh, Isabella, Jersey Otto out of 99 Again, nothing super crazy. Probably a couple bucks. Dante Johnson, rookie, not going to sell. Uh, then a locked jersey at a 49, probably a $2.99 plus shipping uh, eBay auction type gig. All right, and then last but not least, a couple more cards. Finish out the slot again. It was 208 total. Um, you've got Jerome Bettis, jersey auto out of 50. I would guess $39.99 on this. Possibly a little higher, possibly a little lower, but I think $39.99 is probably the, the focal point there. Uh, Miles Sanders, Pen Pals Auto, you're probably looking at $14.99 plus shipping, if I had to guess. Uh, it's funny, when I recorded the video the first time, this card had just gone down, and now it's probably gone up a little bit. Uh, without looking, I would guess $24.99 on this. These used to be like $75, uh, but I would guess like $24.99 uh, plus shipping, if I had to guess. Uh, Lev Bell, Strata, Jersey Auto, without looking, I'd say $14.99 plus shipping. I get a nice Fred Taylor impeccable on card auto at a 49. I would probably say, I don't know Fred Taylor stuff super well. I don't think he has a ton of stuff. So I would probably say $17.99 plus shipping, but that could be as low as $9.99 or as high as $29.99. But 
but I think somewhere between fourteen ninety nine and nineteen ninety nine is a good round number. Uh, Kenny G, uh, is this Illusions? Or, yeah, Illusions, Jersey Auto. Actually, like I think he's near the league lead in touchdown receptions. I know he was when Stafford was playing. Uh, I would guess nine ninety nine plus shipping on this. It's not numbered, so nothing super crazy. And then last but not least, probably the one of the best cards, if not the best card in the deal, uh, Zeke Select Jersey Auto at a forty nine. If I had to guess, I would say seventy four ninety nine or seventy nine ninety nine. So Zeke rookie jersey auto. So again, that stuff, uh, 208 was the total ship. So not a bad lot. Again, I think it had more potential with the Finley and the Trubisky being a little bit better. Um, but we'll see. I'll keep track of it, record it, and let you guys know in the flip video. And then real quick before I move on to this lot of stuff I picked up at the shop, um, I got these in a deal. I bought a case of Absolute off someone. Uh, and they also had these, and I ended up getting these basically worked in. Um, he ended up wanting, I think it, I think the lot was up for like 50 bucks, um, which I think is a really good deal. Um, it was just kind of like a blowout lot. So I ended up getting these in. So I don't really have a ton in these, um, but you've got two, uh, let me set that down, two Noah Fant Shimmers from Prism, 9 of 10 and 8 of 10. Nine five tens. I would imagine these do about twenty nine ninety nine to thirty four ninety nine a piece plus shipping. Um, so you'll get those, and then I think I'll end up listing this as like a two card lot for what I would guess to be forty nine nine or uh, fourteen ninety nine for both of these, upwards of nineteen ninety nine. But I think fourteen ninety nine, if I had to guess, would be the uh, appropriate sale price. So there is that. Again, lot. Lot over there, Prism lot, picked up in shop, uh, and then that lot with an absolute deal. So, plus Panini Rewards. And then last but not least, I picked these up. So, this is two separate deals. You've got this one and this one. Uh, I don't think I showed this off yet. I showed this off on Instagram briefly. Um, this was a lot that walked into me, uh, or walked into the shop the other day, um, and I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know much about a lot of these. I mean, I know who they are and stuff. Um... But, like, these two, I don't really know a ton about, like, as far as, like, if these are super rare. I don't think, just based off what eBay comps are, but uh, there's a card in here I wanted to own. Obviously, you'll see it at the end, and you saw it, if you saw that. Uh, so, Johnny Hop, this is, like, 48 Leaf, I think. I'm pretty sure this is, like, 48 Leaf. Uh, Rocky Calavito, I think this is 68 Tops. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure this is 68 Tops. Uh, Rocky Calavito, 68 or 62? 68 or 62, I don't remember. One of the two. Yeah, it doesn't say. Again, I don't know Vintage very well. I'm pretty open about that. Uh, Mantle Post, it's beat up, beat up, but still it's Mantle, so I'll definitely take it. Again, same thing as the Calavito. I think this is 68 or 62. I'm pretty sure it's 68, but I could be way off, so apologize. It's not in great shape. It's it's pretty beat up. It's probably a three. Um, I think it's a three. But, again, pretty cool pickup. Uh, All-Star Mantle. Is this 50, not 60 All-Star, 59? Don't remember. I know it says 58 there, but I thought it was 60 for some reason. Uh, Mickey Mantle. Always love picking up Mantle stuff. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. I've never seen one of these before. One of the guys that I know that owns a card store that knows a lot more about vintage told me about this. It's like a pop-up card. Apparently, these are pretty tough, or a punch-out card. That's what it's called. That was pop-up. It's punch-out. Um, apparently, these are pretty uh, pretty tough to find, and I'd never seen one before. Um, it's not in the best shape by any means. It's probably a four, um, maybe a five, but if I had to guess, it's a four. That corner's pretty, pretty rough. Uh, back's not terrible. Um, assuming it's supposed to be that, not, like, actual have a back, um, but yeah, Clemente, that was kind of cool, I think that's 64, again, I could be way off on these, it's been a month since I bought this lot, Ernie Banks, was this 56, 55, I don't know, uh, Ernie Banks, not in terrible condition, a little off-centered, top right, corners aren't great they're a little you know a little rounded so nothing super crazy here and then as you can see uh clemente rookie 55 tops i think pretty sure this is 55 tops um obviously it's off-centered i get that but i've never owned one of these 
Um, this card's pretty iconic, and it's the first one I've ever owned, so when I saw it, I ended up paying slightly more than I wanted to than I originally offered, but I still feel like I got a pretty fair price on this. So, I don't remember the exact price in the deal, but I know it was hundreds of dollars for the stack. I mean, three mantles, Clemente Punch-Out, and a Clemente Rookie, it's definitely going to pay a little bit of money. So, I uh, ended up getting those. Most of those will probably end up going up to get graded. I'll check on these two, because I don't know. Uh, anything mantle I want to grade, just have it encapsulated. Um, I think it's easier to sell it. Uh, but these two, I'll have to double check. But the rest of them should go off to get graded. Uh, but again, I bought that three weeks ago, four weeks ago, something like that. It walked into the shop, and I thought it was pretty cool. So I ended up buying it. But wanted to share that with y'all. And then I got this the other day. Um, just, uh, it's like five different cards. Uh, Nick Bosa out of 30. Uh, I actually thought this one, when this watching this was like 25, 30 bucks. Uh, it's amazing what these sell for. I think the last one did like $79 and like 86 bucks. Um, not sure this one's going to sell for that. You know, it's hard to say what the next one's going to sell for, but I was definitely surprised that these sell as well as they do. I mean, he's obviously been, been balling. I'm not denying that. I just, I think it was a little surprising. It caught me off guard. So there's that. This is actually hit in my shop, and the customer ended up moving it to me. Uh, Rogers, Aaron Jones, Devontae Adams, one of one, triple patch from Playbook. This is in the same case as the Mahomes one of one that got hit in my shop. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was pretty crazy. One of one there. Uh, Mark Andre Fleury signature shots auto. You guys know I don't mess a ton with hockey, but this is actually pretty cool. Red ink auto at uh, twenty five actually sells. Fairly decent, so pick that up. Another awesome hockey card, um, Crosby from Clear Cut this year. It's a canvas auto, hand numbered out of seven, with his uh, uh, what's that freaking game called? Oh, it's gonna it's gonna skip me now. Um, Winter Classic, there it is. Winter Classic jersey. Um, you can see the pit logo right there through the auto. Um, so Winter Classic, Crosby, Canvas Auto at a 7. This is pretty cool. Um, so I ended up picking that up. This actually sells really well. The out of 25, that's like 3 and a quarter. So this is probably a little north of 4. And then last but not least, kind of crazy that I ended up getting the Clemente and the Kofax uh, a month apart. Because I've never owned either one of them. Uh, not the best. It's got a... I, I spent a while yesterday trying to find out why this got a 3. Because it doesn't look terrible. I think it's closer to a 4 or 5. I mean, this corner's not great, but it didn't look that bad. But there's a crease right there. Let's see if I can get it on camera. So this is 4K, so this might work. Right there, runs through his ear to the edge of the card. See it right, right there. It's right there. You can kind of see it. Yeah, there you go. You can see it right there. Right there. So, probably not going to grade better. I will probably end up re... When I submit the other PSA stuff, uh, the old vintage stuff, I'll probably get this uh, with a new holder because if you if you can't tell, uh, this is definitely an outdated PSA holder. I don't have one around me or I would show you a new one. Yeah, at least I don't see one. Um, but it has like a PSA like hologram right there. So this is obviously very old. Um, so I will get this re-encapsulated uh, re and this will probably stay in my PC along with the Clemente. These are... Uh, these are cards I never own. These are cards that, you know, you dream about owning, owning when you're a kid and, you know, you can't really afford much. Um, I hope to upgrade this one day and get, you know, obviously get a higher grade and then move this. But for now, this is, uh, this will do. So figured I would, uh, I would share that with you. So yeah, some actually pretty cool lots walking in the shop. I mean, this is definitely, uh, one of the advantages of owning a card store is picking up some really, really cool stuff. So yeah, lots of stuff going on in this video, right? So you've got... Again, Prism Lot, I'll, that'll be in the flip video. This will be in the flip video. Uh, this I probably won't include because a lot of this will go off to get grading, so it won't make sense. Uh, some Punini Rewards, and then this uh, Noah Fant Lot I got as well. So completely uh, random mail day, but lots of uh, lots of just cool stuff I wanted to share with you guys. I just keep kind of keep you in the loop because I hadn't recorded anything in a while. So hope you all have a great week, but that is all I got for now, guys. Peace.